Along with its brand new Galaxy S21 smartphone lineup, Samsung has launched the new Galaxy Buds Pro True Wireless earphones. They come with what the company calls intelligent active noise cancellation and 360 audio with Dolby head tracking tech that offers a spatial audio experience. There's a new auto switch feature that lets the buds remain connected to two Galaxy devices at once and switch playback between them. Claimed battery life on the Galaxy Buds Pro is up to 8 hours with ANC off and up to 5 hours with ANC on. With the included charging case, Samsung says battery life can be extended all the way up to 28 hours with ANC off and 18 hours with ANC on. The case is USB Type-C compatible and supports Qi wireless charging as well and gets an IPX7 water resistance rating. The Galaxy Buds Pro are priced at 15,990 rupees in India, with pre-orders live from January 15th and open sale from January 29th. Apple is offering 5,000 rupees in cash back to shoppers who place orders for or above 44,900 rupees through the company's online store for India. The limited time offer starts on January 21st and ends on January 28th and can be availed only on HDFC Bank credit cards and HDFC credit card EMIs only. Moreover, the offer can be applied only on a single order of 44,900 rupees or above and not on clubbed orders amounting to the requisite amount. Sony has reportedly said that the PlayStation 5 will not receive a second round of pre-orders in India ahead of the February 2 release date for the next-generation console. The highly anticipated device went up for pre-order in the country on January 12th at noon and was sold out countrywide within minutes. Sony has said potential customers should stay in touch with retailers to be informed of future pre-order updates. According to mobile analytics firm App Annie, WhatsApp was the most used app in India for 2020. The messaging service reportedly registered the most monthly active users, but reports say the figures may be soon declining due to the company's latest privacy policy that has both users and security experts concerned. It's worth noting that WhatsApp outdid even Facebook and Instagram with an average of 21.3 hours spent by users on the app per month. A counterpoint research report says the wearable market grew significantly in 2020 and even more sales are expected in the segment for 2021. The report says Airwear grew 83% compared to 2019, selling 238 million units in 2020. Smartwatches are expected to see a small increase in sales for 2021, with users reportedly relying more on such devices to monitor health and fitness. Users of Google's Pixel 4a 5G smartphone have reportedly complained that the January software update has failed to fix a touchscreen issue ailing their devices. Users on the Android 11 update had reported issues with the touchscreen response after the December update, with Google saying that an upcoming update would resolve the trouble. However, reports say users are still facing issues on their Pixel 4a devices despite the update. <laughs> 